Hello and welcome back to Fallout 4 modded on PC. I'm proud of Data Gaming. This is part to the manhunt for Baldy Locks, I mean Kellogg. So, if you watched the last episode, you might recognize this as that quick hearted block. I just added a fun paint job and I stretched the barrel all the way out. Well, we're not getting in the front door, so let's have a look around the back. There's a parking garage in the fort. Well... Let's have a look. Somebody was living down here. Yep. Well, <laughs> emphasis on the was. Why well, are you breaking bad down here in the army base? Well, army basement. That's some boot stuff right there. Doing a drug thing in the basement of the fort. I need to actually just hit this thing so I can find the entrance, find a way in. I have to do that. I think there's a way through in the basement. I just have to wait for everyone to get out of my bloody way. No uh, break beds up there. Oh yeah, right. The store. Well, aside from the wallpaper and everything peeling off the damn walls, the place isn't in too bad a shape. Door is chained up on okay. the end. Driver. I'm gonna grab this sucker open. This should be a decent inside. Yes. As to what a decent survived for 200 years sitting, I have no idea about that. Obviously, some sort of stupid and stuff. And a Dishane 99 pistol. And we have some. Let's see if this sucker will crack right over for us. Look, so it's Dan, no, it's not the D, so it's L I V E. Or it's Got pumps. It. Okay, no, uh, my previous strategy when I hacked in Fallout was just to get three passwords and keep trying over and over. Plastic does not, doesn't do much good. A block. Come on, stay Tron still. <laughs> that was awesome. I almost want to watch various mobs in this game fight each other. Excuse me, that's very rude. I have my back to you. MREs out there. I'd love to actually get my hands on an American MRE to try it. I think the idea of MREs is fascinating. Nice. I mean, 
one of my personal favorite channels to watch is Steve MRE and Club. Oh, oh, that's a layer. Laser sustained electrical rifle. And you can actually hit me. Nope. Oh, somebody's got something big up there and it hurts. Like, oh, complete and utter funeral work. Come on. Very brief little look through the space. Look at Cherry, Roman meat and vodka. Don't know where that's firing at, but I'm going to shoot the crap out of it. That was a ricochet, not good. Explosive box. But that's linked to a Tesla arc. Sweet. I mean, you could pop a crowbar and you'll probably just wedge it right up. That's not one thing you should really have in the apocalypse is a crowbar. Looking for opening up doors, bashing in heads. Like, that's one thing you should seriously consider for your equipment in the apocalypse. Get a crowbar. Please come out. And watch for the damn landmarks. Obviously, they don't always have flashing lights on them. Seriously, these rifles are going to give me a nice payday. That rifle at least hurts. Come on, I was looking for you, douchebag. Or in your case, douche bombed. Let's clear our radiation a little bit. I need red away. We're also going to try a MRE, so we'll take vegetables. The MREs act as really good healing items. It's an excellent mod. I think if you play survival, it's going to be perfect as a way to keep yourself fed and healed. Got a heard of turret powering up. Tactical to make damage each 7 hour pistol. Let's see what the damage on it is supposed to be. 26. I don't know why I hit me so hard. Postcard? That is a postcard. Maryland. Can I pick it up? Let's see if we can try and just dislodge it. Okay, I can't seem to pick that postcard up, but it's the Maryland one. I think it's part of Kitaro's treasures. I'm sure I'll be coming back here for one reason or the other. Duct tape, that's needed. Let's not stick on a landmine. I mean, the synth armor, I imagine it stops energy weapons, kind of like a stormtrooper armor is supposed to stop a laser bolt. But I still would trust it. Most guys are going to have a rifle. No, I'm 
blue one. Popular. Butcher. A seaman. Let's open that door. And let's have a look at this. So it's a portrait automatic I-54. Now it's got some influence from actual rifles, but this stuff is an awesome mod if you want like that vanilla look. If there was one set of mods I'd want um, the devs to add into like Fallout, I'd want that. Like into the base game. What's in the ammo box? Hopefully it's ammo. Got it. I mean, I'd consider buying myself one of these ammo crates, but these things are a little pricey where I am. They're a cool aesthetic piece. Perfect if you want to do your own sort of setup. Okay. Let's just keep this back round. Let's have a quick look upstairs. Somebody upstairs had a nice weapon. I think I'm gonna rather go 10 more. Hey. Excuse me. You mind carrying some of the skill for me, bud? I do have some Ekumba pistols on me. I own Instead of giving them a try, I've got a few sniper rifles, 303 British and 65 Swedish. Mm, 303 is going to be a decent caliber, but that one well, of the Swedish ones is going to be a little questionable. We're just going to offload some of the gear we picked up so we can get moving at a normal speed. Paying attention, the turret was active. Silver. I don't know how valuable silver would be in the apocalypse. Because I wouldn't go around wearing jewelry, but I think it is components for very for some useful things. Got it. Cola. Duty points, I okay, gave pre war money. That's it. If you play modern warfare, it is essentially they ask you to turn all your money to call the duty points so that you can buy skins. I mean, I've been there, dead tired at work, dead tired of work. This is the other entrance. If you come in by the roof, you come in through there. Sweet. Oh, that knocked me flat. 
console is controlled by vibration. I'm gonna armor in the weapons bench, but I'm not gonna deal with that now. My armor. Well, I have to turn off. Sensor reading detected. Well, that was short lived. Very short lived by the baton. Trap. False grenades. That might be useful for dealing with the tin men. Plastic men, they're not tin. Tin is more durable than plastic in some of these areas. If you make tin thick enough, it can actually be a body armor. Nice. I think you're gonna have to get a very hard limb. Very, very hard. Hello, Cap. There's canister. Yeah. My name is Hulk, Stump Thin Mints, Choco, whatever, Chocolate Grasshoppers. I don't know, we don't have Girl Scouts in my country. This is well, Girl Scouts will get mugged. Better clipboard. I thought that was a key that just caught my eye and come up key. Pencil. I'm grabbing the pencils for the lead. The lead is going to be useful for ammunition manufacturing. Which reminds me, I need to get an ammo pump put up. Detected. Curious. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. They're gonna put me backing me up there. I don't know where the heck you're naked. Pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, it's not gonna go your way. What, shooting you in the face isn't gonna go my way. The only way it is gonna go is my way, and that's me shooting you in the face multiple times, Kellogg. from the poor soldiers who live in this bunk. But they were 200 years long dead. <coughs> there, have one. Pulse weaponry is actually kind of cool. The idea is to fry the electronics. I don't think it would have that kind of effect, but I don't know the technology. Maybe that detonation is what gets off the pulse. Still probably going to be very, very harmful to a person, but at the end of the day, it does its job and shreds a synthetic or machine. Very small shower. in here. This looks like offices. No computer. I need Heads to up. give dog meat more of my loot. So once I get my charisma all the way up and my selling skill maxed out, oh, I might 
28, but it's in 10 more months, we'll just use a pistol. Once I get the charisma maxed out, I'm going to be able to sell these rifles for good, good profit. like with dog meat when I hand him an item I don't have to worry about getting hit with a grenade. He doesn't have the thumb to keep him, but still it's nice not to have to worry about a companion eating you with a grenade. Okay this will be stepping in small generator room in the workshop. Maintenance set an army is one of the most essential and critical functions there is. Obviously you need trained soldiers, but you need somebody to make sure that the base doesn't fall on top of their head. You need maintenance, you need doctors to maintain the soldiers, you need engineers. Medical supplies, right away. And Red X. Red X is actually just like a name for iodine tablet. Iodine, obviously, being abundant, well, abundantly supplied to people who live near nuclear plants. I believe it is standard issue to households that live out near any sort of nuclear plant. If there's a meltdown or a radiation leak, the last thing you want is the people living nearby getting split. We just found the energy weapons a bobblehead. Bingo. 25 to critical damage of energy weapon. No thank you, I don't feel like selling spirits. Someone press a while though. Okay. Good me. Thank you, don't come again. I'd ask why didn't you stop them, but you're not wearing body armor, so they ran right through you. I did see something catch my eye back here. Yeah, explosive box. It's when you need the chili to have a little more kick. Nice. Plus enough frag grenade. Now you wanna know what I got? I got a lot of ammo and an automatic weapon. That counts for a lot more than you would think. It's not too late. Stop. Turn around. You have that option. Not a lot of people can say that. I mean, for the big bad move, he seems awfully eager to avoid a fight with some random dude from the wasteland. But, uh... I firmly hold the belief he's an overhyped loser. You all done with this crap? Nicely done. And duct tape and something else. And we're into the armory. Very small one, but at least we've got some ammo. Nothing up there. A little bit of tin mill. We've got dual wheeled service pistols, automatic laser pistol, WH 77. An M4. Despite the army adopting the MCX spear, still gonna Heads take up. forever to get rid of freaking M4s. Okay, crap. Right, where's the plastic man? I know he's around, yep. Him, 
might have a good 30 rounds of 556 to the face just for being Okay, I'm still holding on the cut all the sound. I just backtracked a little bit to break down some of this gear. If I break some of it down, or the least valuable pieces broken down, I can do a little field modification on some of my weaponry. For instance, I have just upgraded that M4. I found it's the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 M4. Stuck a sight on it, changed the barrel. I think I'll use that in place of my car B for a little bit. Okay, I don't have enough resources to do all these mods. Mm. Yeah, I can't upgrade the I-54. If I could, I would boost the damage, but I can't. Now, I always recommend break down some of your more basic gear and stuff that's not going to fix you too much. For instance, these energy weapons take them off the sims. I'm going to hang on to those because they are worth a lot. I need these batons for a project that comes later on in the series. I can't break this down. I could, but I need it because I don't really have a fat man launcher. And we're going to hand everything back off to dear old Nicky. He can carry some of my excess gear. Okay, and then, now that I've lowered my weight, let's go shoot Kellogg in his stupid face. you know when something bad goes down you're the one that can help whether it be family friends co-workers colleagues or just random strangers that need you to help them it's always useful to keep supplies i personally keep a nice bag of well stocked supplies in my house Apparently sleeping here. Why am I struggling with this?
much as you can carry. Carry the good stuff. If it's got a material you're gonna need, take it. But try and avoid taking unnecessary weight. Like, for instance, soap. Soap are things like half a pound versus the six pounds that this gas canister is. You can carry soap for the oil, and you can carry the gas canister. I'm sure I've got armor. If you all wanted to hear this dialogue, I did not. I've heard it so many times, it gets worse and worse every time. It's not going to give me the information, so I might as well shoot. Found sci-fi card number 29, Magnetic Flights. Got a guitar of collections and Kellogg's 44 caliber pistol. Let's look around for food. Impact. Ooh. IFAM 50. 50 BMG. A bolt action, but I mean, that's a stylish bolt action. And we got ourselves a lever action. Oh, you know what this lever action is? It is a 10 millimeter one from Point Lookout. So, uh, if you're aware of modding Fallout 4, you know that there is a Point Lookout mod. I'll cover that later in the series, but that was one of my favorite DLCs for Fallout 3. It added so much content, so much good, enjoyable content. Nice. Gonna rob that barn, you dump some crap. Cushion treated, dump that. I'm 10 over, let's just find the info and get the heck out of here. Q access logs. Boy, delivered to the Institute, payment received, new order system, track down renegade. I'm guessing that's me. He gathered reinforcements, what? A couple of first gen plastic men? Okay, he definitely murdered that poor stall down in the poppy garage basement. But as to why he chose Fort Taken, I don't know. The Institute was the puppet master all along. Damn. Even I don't know where they are. They built me. The coffee should be in there. Oh, Mr. Metal for Hands doesn't know how to get back to the factory? No, I skipped that part of the orientation film while they were busy pulling me apart and putting me back together again. <sighs> we're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever. Nick. Time to hit the road? Not now. Well, I'll be around. Uh -huh. Time to hit the road. of our manhunt for Baldy Locks. I'd like to thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. This was a fun, fun mission. Albeit I didn't want to have this Kellogg run his mouth like he always does. So I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.